Hey everyone, Alan Thrall here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into deadlift blocks. Deadlift blocks can be used for elevated deadlifts, deficit deadlifts, or as feet blocks for shorties who cannot plant their feet flat on the ground during the bench press. This is also a common problem for people with a lot of junk in their trunk. You can make your own deadlift blocks out of wood, or you can purchase some online. I happen to have a couple of spare four foot by six foot, three quarter inch horse stall mats lying around, so I decided to get some use out of them. Step number one, cut your horse stall mat into multiple equal sections. I made a pair of one and a half inch blocks and a pair of three inch blocks. That's four pieces of mat for the one and a half inch blocks and eight pieces for the three inch blocks. These things can be a pain to cut, so here's how I do it. Using a silver or gold sharpie, I draw a line down the mat. Place some sort of cylinder object underneath the line. I'm using a PVC pipe foam roller. This will let the sides of the mat hang, which will make it easier to cut. Using a utility knife, trace over the line one section at a time until you pierce all the way through. Step number two, glue the mats together. Step number three, using a quarter inch drill bit, drill a hole through the mats in each corner and on each side. That's eight holes total. Step number four, take a quarter inch flathead machine screw, one and a half inches long for the one and a half inch blocks and three inches long for the three inch blocks. Obvious, I know. Feed it through a washer and stick it in the hole. Step number five, this is a quarter inch T-nut. It's got sharp teeth that bite into the rubber mats and a threaded female end for the machine screw to fit into. Using these will make the screws flush with the mats on both sides. I didn't want a screw and a nut sticking out of either end because I want to be able to stack these, stand on them, and lay them flat on the ground. Drill the screws into the T-nuts. Step number six. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Block poles are preferred over rack poles because the plates are supporting the weight, not the barbell. Rack poles are a great way to damage a good barbell. At Untamed Strength, we have trash beater bars that are only used for rack poles if someone insists on doing them. Block poles are a great variation for deadlifts because they challenge the lifter by altering the starting position. The knees are more extended because the weight is higher off the ground. It's also a great way to overload the movement. Block poles can also be used by someone with a severe injury that hinders their ability to bend over and pick up a barbell off the floor. Deficit deadlifts are a great variation for strengthening the back because they make the pole longer by propping you up off the floor, forcing you to bend over further. That's it. Thanks for watching and always remember, tread on time.